Hello and welcome back to Fernbug Coach Simulator. And yes, I did say Fernbug Coach Simulator. Uh, due to all the bugs that we found in the game so far, both myself and everyone who's commented, including this classic. I can see trouble ahead here. Not the roundabout, but we're going to go straight on here. There's a road here <laughs> and there's a big building here. And unless we're Harry Potter and we're getting to platform 12 and 3 quarters, or is it 9 and 3 quarters, we're not going anywhere. This is the map, look, if I zoom in. So I've seen many bugs in a game, but driving into walls on your main route is not one of them. <laughs> so anyway, let's start game. And we choose level progression. And I've been playing a little bit off screen, so I'm going to choose to go from... I'm going to choose shuttle, and I'm going to choose to go from... Reims, which is here, and I would like to go, I'd really like to go to Luxembourg, but if I choose that, I've tried this before, and it won't select Ru Luxembourg, or I can't get the navigation there, so I'm going to go to Saarbr Saarbrücken here, and hello to you if you're from Saarbrücken. And Saarbrücken, I, I believe it's Germany, I, I, yeah, it must be Germany. Uh, so, now, um, I kind of worked this out as well, that we have this big circle here, which means this, these are the routes we can go to. I was wondering why everything is locked here in red, but once we get to Saarbrücken, all this will open up. So, anyway, let's save, and let's go to next. And we'll choose Arcade, and I've realised that we have three buses we can choose from. The Man, the Neoplan, and the... BB. So I'm going to choose this one, the BB, because I'm, I'm less likely to have accidents. Let's start game. Okay, here are our passengers, and I noticed something myself when I was checking in passengers. I was looking at the top. On the right-hand side, you see the online ticket. At the top, it says Reims to Saarbrücken, and at the, at the bottom... It, at the bottom is what you want to look at when you, when you want to find out the destination they want to go to. So this one is right, Saarbrücken. And uh, so I'll just check one, two more. Yeah, this one is right. They're going to Saarbrook, and you can see on the bottom of the ticket. Yeah, express check-in. All right, I'll see you when I've I've finished finished the, the rest of the passengers. Okay, last one. He should disappear. Yeah, there he goes. All right, so we've got this little beast today, and how do we even get in it? Go into the bus, and uh, how do I sit down? Just like that. Okay. So I'm still on arcade mode, so, oops, forward's probably the way to go, isn't it? Uh, so, we need to, if I want to look around, I need to go outside of the bus. So I'm going to do it like this, but normally I would drive inside the bus. So what have we got? 287 kilometres to go today. Now, I did, like I said, I, I played this a little bit off screen yesterday. I did one route from Ruins to Reem, I think it was. And I got a little bit of feeling of ETS 2. Not much, but a little bit of a feeling, because the traffic was better. And um, there's the navigation reminds me of it as well. The navigation in the bottom right, we can see the miles going down, and we can see the route and everything. But um, it wasn't too much of a feeling of it, just a little bit. Too fast. Too fast. Now, I really want to not have accidents today, so I probably should stop talking, but um, I'm going to do a bit of talking. And the other thing is that I have a bit of a cold and a bit of a sore throat, so I might need to shut up <laughs> in a little while. But um, just let me know your thoughts on this game and what's happened so far. I, I did notice that there hasn't been a, an update yet. There will often be like a, a day one or a day two update on the game. But uh, there hasn't been on this game. I think it needs it because there are things like that wall that I drove into, and other things. People at roundabouts doing strange things as well, letting people out and not having the right of way. Just really strange things that shouldn't be in the game. You know, that need updating. I did enjoy it yesterday, but I played it off screen and I didn't have the pressure of recording. <laughs> uh, it's not pressure, I enjoy it, but uh, I didn't, I wasn't, you know, I was just relaxing in the evening playing the game. It was nice, I enjoyed it actually, I did enjoy it. Um, 
despite its shortcomings, you know, there's all sorts of things, like these cars in front of us, they disappear, and they don't look like they're, they're actually on the road, they look like they're floating, and, you know, the draw distance is pretty bad, and for a next-gen console, it's not good, you know, not good at all, but I can put up with things, you know, if I, if I imagine what, what games were like when I was a kid, oh, sorry, too fast again, I'm just, I'm not concentrating, and this is nimble little bus I'll go I'll go a bit slower I need to obey the uh, the speed limits which I'm not doing at the moment because I'm, I'm not concentrating on the driving so okay let's go yeah this was another thing people were driving into the post and just smashing into it when I was playing yesterday I'm not gonna smash into it but you have to get really close and then it opens but all the NPCs were driving straight into it just, just loads of things you know but I think they'll pa I think they'll patch it you know I think uh, if you play on the PC I'd be interested to know what you think and how it works on the PC and do we have to go we have to take this right here I think uh, if, if it's a smoother thing and um, if it's all if all the bugs are sorted or if there's no bugs whatsoever and what do you feel about paying for all the countries and now we have it on console we don't have to pay for all the countries that was sticking your core a little bit anyway let's get on the motor I think it is. looks like we have to go around here somewhere Sorry, my driving is just gross on My driving is just terrible today, but uh, it's just because I'm, I'm not really concentrating. I'm trying to do some chat and I'm not concentrating fully on, on the game, but I will from now on. And I've noticed we have two sat nets here, but I don't know how to. Let's go over here. How to switch. How to switch the second one off? I don't know how to do it. Anyway, I was confused just now that we were. It looked like we had to go round and, and cross over a bridge that was above us, but well, we haven't done it, and the the, the, kilo, the, kilo, the kilometres are going down, and we're headed to Germany, which is fantastic. Okay, I'm going to give the chat a little bit of a, of a, a rest for the moment because I do have a sore throat. So I'll see you at about 150 kilometres.
So when I played yesterday off screen, I had a, a, a deduction of 50 XP points for not resting. But there's no, like in ETS2, you have a little bed that you can see, and it goes blue gradually, and then it goes red when you really need to rest. But there's nothing on screen here. I think it's on the pause menu. Let me just go to the pause menu. Oh, sorry. I'm just driving badly now. I'm starting to talk again. And there's nothing there about resting. And let's just have a look at this menu. And where are we? We are here. And I just passed a rest point here. And there's no other rest points. But I've only just started, so there's no point in me resting at the moment. I've only just started. So I don't... I don't want to, I just don't want to have a fight. Oh gosh, they're stopping again. Let's go around if we can. We had this in the last episode, didn't we? Of them stopping and just suddenly stopping. There's a nice flex bus. Lovely. That's the one I drove yesterday, I think. Except mine was orange. Uh, I've lost my train of thought now. Um, yeah, resting I think I was talking about. Um, so I don't think I need to rest because it's not a very long journey and I've got no warnings here to rest. And yes, it was a big it was a big deduction of 50 XP points for not uh, not resting. I don't want to hit anything either. Now this bus keeps speeding up and slowing down. That's one thing I hate on the motorway in real life. People speeding up and slowing down, particularly when you're trying to overtake them. Sticks in my crawl. These guys are breaking, so they should be going slower. Let's try and get them past these two dudes. I'm actually quite enjoying this today, this trip. And because we're going somewhere else, not just France. So, although I like France, but we're going to Germany that I also like. I've, I've been to, I haven't been to Germany for quite a speed in, okay. Quite a while. I did go when I was at school, I went on exchange trips with the, with the youth orchestra <laughs> and it was fun, it was really fun. We went in the winter and you could skate on a lake, there was a, there was a lake, it was February, where you could skate, skate on the lake, it was quite safe because it was so thick. I remember that, it was cold but it was a nice cold. And I like Germany, I like France as well, so I like driving around in Europe, you know. I would like to go to Spain, but there's no Spain on... on uh, on Fernbug Simulator. Not yet, anyway. And there's no UK either. Because the other thing I like to do <laughs> is to uh, get the ferry or go through the Eurotunnel to the UK from um, Calais or wherever it is. I'd love to do that. I, I, I've done that, you know, we do, we, we do that on uh, ETS2. And I have done it in real life, actually. I've, I've taken a car and a caravan on the Eurotunnel, you know, on the train from France to England. That was a, an experience. So I think I'll do, like, five episodes of this, and then that'll be it, I think, because, I mean, unless there's a major update, these are... I find these episodes a bit tricky to make because let's go round this dude going wrong again. People are popping up and speeding up and slowing down. Like if there's a major update and it turns into uh, turns into ETS2 all of a sudden, I need to slow down. Then I'm still not sure I could do an, a whole series on it because of the chat. I don't know if I can keep the chat up all the time, except I'm kind of doing it now, but I'm not sure it's enjoyable to chat. <laughs> Where do we go? Strasbourg? This way? Straight on. This is a little bit ETS too. Me getting, getting confused with the direction to come. <laughs> so. Anyway, I hope I'm doing less moaning today. And I do feel more positive about the game now I've played it. Um, by the way, I can't hear anything when I'm playing because I don't have headphones on. And the sounds are turned down so they don't bleed into the microphone. Uh, so, I hope the sound is okay today. It's just on the same level it was yesterday. I'll have to get into this one. I think I want to slow down a bit actually. I'm going to get into. I'm going around the bend again. I'm going to get 
get to this one actually. Alright, I'll see you when we're a bit nearer our destination. So we're approaching Saarbrücken now, you can see we're 32 kilometres um, and things look better I think in Germany to me. The, the trees look very misty in, let's go in this one because there's only one, yeah did you see the guy bump into the barrier then? <laughs> did you see that? Uh, bugs all over the place, I'm not going to do that, well hopefully not, I'll probably do it now. have to stop really close to it though. Okay. Yeah, things look a bit better defined to me in Germany. Um, now we're in Germany. I think we're in Germany. Um, can I pass this guy? So. There's still a bit of an issue with the... He's speeding up! That's so annoying! Uh, okay, Think, yeah, things look better defined, the trees look better defined, it looks a bit more ETS2, I keep going on about ETS2, but this is, you know, there's a, the, a, they set a high bar, um, the SES software with ETS2 and American Drug Simulator, a very high bar, 
because that's been you know, on PC for a long time and they've had time to develop it a lot, you know. Is it this way? I'm sure I must have to go up here on the outer part. Um, I just wish ETS2 would come to console. I, I'm, I just hope that they're working on it behind the scenes to bring it to console because I'd love to play it on you know, on a big screen and stuff. I play on the on the PC, but it's such a small screen. I think I have to turn right here. Yeah. I do. Yeah, I'd love to play ETS2 on a, on a console, but I don't. I'm not sure if they're working on it, which would be a shame. There's nothing quite like it on console, really. There's on the road, which has just had a big update, you know, the bus simulators that there are, Tourist Bus Simulator and Bus Simulator 21 and all the rest of it, and now this one. I just want something that's just exactly like ETS2. <laughs> I keep going on about it. Anyway, I'm glad it's not raining today, <laughs> because the bus yesterday was really hard to handle in the rain. This one is a little bit hard to handle, but you probably have to level up and to get better buses and, and all the rest of it because I'm not sure what the XP does for you. When you get XP at the end, what do you get for the XP? I don't know because some of the buses are DLCs. You don't you don't level up and then get a new bus. Or do you? I don't know. I mean I haven't found out yet. Maybe you can go for it, I don't know. Anyway, let's concentrate on the driving. And try and find our stop. So I, I tried playing on, not arcade, like the professional one where you have to press all the buttons and everything, but it was a bit difficult, there was stuff I couldn't quite work out. So I am playing on the arcade settings at the moment. Um, just to make it a bit easier to play. I'll probably do that for all all the episodes I'll do, which is probably five episodes. So I'm just trying to see. It's difficult when you're on the Xbox to see what's coming. Is he letting me out? Oh, that's nice. And indicate, and everything. Right then, where's our, where's our stop? Two kilometers. Yeah, hello to you if you live in Saarbrücken. And I do hope it's Germany, <laughs> because I keep, I keep saying it is. Oh good, here's our stop. Thank goodness, so we've unlocked Saarbrücken now. Saarbrücken unlocked, because I've parked in the thing here. Fantastic, so, let everybody off the bus. Are they all getting off? They're all off already. So I think we press this and then complete. And this is how we did. Um, passengers transported. I didn't get a, um, a penalty for invalid tickets. Uh, everything is green here or resting quality. I didn't need to rest. Traffic rules, everything's obeyed. Fantastic, driving behavior. Safety distance broken. I wonder what that means. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. I'd like to get back to the bus, but I don't think... Oh, what's this? Level 3. <laughs> thanks very much for joining me today. And I'm going to do probably three more episodes, and then that'll be it. And then I can just enjoy it on my own in the evening. <laughs> so thanks very much for joining me, and bye for now.